Welcome to VidCode. We're about to start coding some really fun projects. But first, here's a quick video on how to get set up. Your teacher should have sent you either um, a join link or a class code. If you have a join link, just post it in your URL. It'll send you to a page to get signed up. If they've given you a class code, go to create account, sign up as a student, and enter the class code here. Make sure everything's spelled correctly. But if you do mess up, you can always join via URL later. I'm gonna log in. You have the option to sign up or sign in with Google, Office 360, or with your email. If you are signing up with an email, it doesn't have to be a real email. It can be fake. We only use it as a unique identifier to know that you're you. It does, however, need to be structured like an email with an at sign and something.com on the right. If you're a student on VidCode, we'll never email you. However, if you don't have a real email here, you can't ever reset your password. So make sure you click show password here so you can see your password before you enter it. Make sure no one's around when you check your password. Once you've joined a class, your class dashboard should look kind of like this, with a welcome sign that says you've joined Virtual Coding Club or whatever your teacher's class name is. From here, you can go into your dashboard to see what you've been working on or just start coding. These are all the tutorials on VidCode. They're broken up by units, and you're probably gonna go through them one at a time. Tutorials are gonna walk you through new concepts, and challenges are gonna reinforce old things that you've learned, or sometimes be puzzles. Click into the project that your teacher's assigned. Your code editor is gonna look like this, with instructions on the left, your code editor in the middle, your project on the right, and your media gallery here. You can upload or record your own videos. As you click Next, you're going to get prompted to do different things, like select a video. I selected the dinosaur. Um, and you're going to have buttons appear. These buttons on the left appear as I click Next. I can drag them in and see them turn into real code in my code editor. Take your time on these projects. Make sure you read the instructions. Things that you are supposed to do at each step are gonna be in purple, and vocabulary, such as functions, is going to be bolded. When you're done with your project, usually once you make it to the last step, you can submit it for your teacher, or you can save it as a draft and come back to it later if you're not done. I'll submit this for now, give it a title, and a description. A description is a great place to tell your teacher challenges or bugs you ran into or reflect on your project. If your class is using Google Classroom, you can edit it here or you can submit it to Google Classroom here. You can also embed it in an external portfolio or send it directly to your teacher with this link. If your teacher gives you feedback, you can edit this project and make changes. Your teacher has a version history of your project, so they can see every step you've submitted along the way. The other things that are available on VidCode are this project gallery. That's if I click projects on the top. This is a great place where you can see other students' work from the previous years. Your project will never end up here. These are projects that we've gotten permission to post. If you do find a project interesting, you can click into it, see the code that was used to make it, and then press Remix to open this project in a sandbox and play around with the code on your own. My classes will bring me back to my class dashboard, and my portfolio 
has a record of all the projects that I've worked on. If I have any projects saved or in progress, those will appear here on the bottom. All right, thanks so much for coming to this tour of VidCode. I hope you get set up no problem and enjoy coding.